Hey guys, good morning. So I figured I would start off today's vlog with showing you my new car. I am sitting in it and I've never loved a car so much. <laughs> So I've had this car for about five days now, so almost a week, and my obsession with it is growing every single day. It's kind of funny to even say. So at the same day that I got this car, I ended up selling my other car, which you would have seen in my last vlog. I had a Lexus NX300 F Sport before this car, love that car. It was so hard for me to part from it. I was actually thinking of just buying it out and keeping it and not even getting a new car. That was one of the options that I was thinking of doing. But the whole reason why I love like leasing vehicles is because every three years I can get like the latest and greatest and the new stuff. So I don't know, I just kind of like figured I'm just gonna get rid of a car that I had for three years and get a brand new car do what makes you happy you know so as you could probably see from the title of this video i ended up getting a tesla i got a model y so the compact suv looking tesla oh i'm in love so I ended up purchasing this car and the whole process was kind of unreal and that's why I was so excited to like finally tell you guys and talk to you guys about it because I didn't have to go to a dealership or anything. I did test drive this car twice. I actually test drove it back in October and I test drove it in January again as well just to confirm that I really love it. There's a lot of things that are different. Obviously it's electric vehicle. So in comparison to a normal gasoline type of car, there's differences with that too. And it was just like a whole mental and lifestyle change that I had to make. So I don't know, I wanted to be like confident of the decision to move over to electric car. I ended up getting an electric charger installed in Juan's house. So when I go over there, I can charge up this bad boy and just trying to understand like how much I drive and all that sort of stuff, like how long I can go without charging it. So right now it's at 76% and I charged it, I think three days ago. So that's actually not bad at all. But anyway, the process was so easy aside from like going to the place and test driving it. I bought it online. I filled out all the paperwork online. Everything was online. So come delivery day, they actually dropped it off at my house. They were here for like 15 minutes just to like sign a few docs in person and hand over the keys. So it's really funny because the key for a Tesla primarily is your phone. So they have an app and it starts off and everything. Like you don't turn on or off this car, which is wild. You just get out, shut the door, and then it's off. It's kind of crazy to me. And then there's also this. So this is like the key to the car is like a credit card so fucking wild technology you know she helped me set up like the phone key and that sort of stuff and handed things over so it was pretty smooth and seamless to be honest which was insane so anyways enough of the backstory hopefully that helped provide a lot of clarity for you guys but if you have any questions just let me know and I'm gonna give you a little car tour, why not? And show you the inside of this car, what it looks like, and some of the things that like I'm loving about it, or some things I'm not. I don't know if there's anything, but I'll mention anything that I'm maybe not liking about it, and changes that I wanna make too, so yay. So first and foremost, the top of this car is all glass which is really cool you can see that it's a super gray day out in seattle the sun just went away i'm currently sitting in a parking garage so you'll see but uh my car's name is luna i love it when you get out you'll see but it's a white car and i just thought that that was like a really cute name oh i guess you can tell it's white right here but everything you can control from this screen which holy shit this is insane to me so i mean you can open the front trunk the frunk <laughs> and then the back as well um there's like cameras all around i'm in the corner you'll see and you can speak with it i love that this is directly connected with spotify and you can do other streaming just from your phone bluetooth which is cool karaoke which is another really cool thing about it is i can like watch netflix or youtube and stuff from the car not while driving but cool like if I need to charge and sit in it you know I can go on the web it shows like connects with your phone so obviously your calendar calling and text messaging and all that stuff too you have heated seats both sides heated steering wheel and this sort of thing how do you do it 
still getting used to it. This sort of thing is so cool. You can actually control the flow of the air just by moving your fingers. What? And what else? Yeah, I don't know. It just has like a bunch of other features and stuff. So this is kind of like the cool screen and cool things about it. This little slot down here is actually to charge your phone wirelessly, which is so cool. And then we have two cup holders, a huge ass thing down here to store your goods. I just have a face mask and hand sanitizer down there. And you just press on that to close. You have the center console, more masks and stuff. Here's the passenger seats. And you'll see these stickers on both sides is because I just got the front windows tinted. So I can't roll down the windows or anything like that. And then, which is kind of interesting, is that to open the glove box, you have to press it from there. And you can also lock the glove box, which is kind of cool. To open the door, you press this button and then you just push it open. So yeah, here's the overview of the front. Let's open the back. Here's the back of the car, really big trunk, which I love. Um, what else? Here's like the charging stuff. I haven't even opened this. Oh, tons of extra room down there, which is super nice to fold down the seats you can press these buttons here of course there's like levers on top that will automatically fold if you're in the front but from here it's pretty cool to just shut it <laughs> and then here's the back seat pretty roomy lots of room which is great has like iphone chargers and stuff which is cool this is how you open them i'm doing it one-handed and then i'll show you the frunk and here's the front of the car, so there's no engine. <laughs> so it's just like a nice big storage area. I have no idea what I'm gonna use this space for, but really cool that I have that. And so here is the outside of the car, what it looks like. I went with white, I love white. My Lexus was a white as well. This one's already kind of dirty as you can see, but yeah, I tended the windows to kind of match the back. The back is obviously a lot darker than the front. And then for the wheels, I plan to swap out these wheels for black wheels. So that will be coming soon. Otherwise, upon delivery, there was one main issue with my car and it was actually the driver's back door. So this door doesn't shut that well. I actually have to slam it shut. So I'm getting this service. So upon delivery, there could be like a few issues just to be mindful of. I unfortunately think it's kind of common for you to see issues upon delivery with Teslas because they're like mass producing them and getting them out to all of the people that want them and that are ordering them. So you kind of have to make sure you're inspecting the car within 24 hours of accepting delivery and then you can report any issues that you see and they'll have like a mobile technician come out and like fix it and take a look. Some things you have to go in for, but luckily I can just have someone like come out and look into that. Anyways, I really hope that you guys enjoyed like this little car tour. So much fun. A lot of you actually guessed that I was getting a Tesla, so you know me so well. <laughs> Good morning guys. I really want some liquid ID, like some hydration. I don't have a normal glass. I got rid of like my drinking glasses, so I'm gonna drink it out of like this whiskey glass, I guess. <laughs> Where's my favorite one? I am obsessed with the strawberry flavor. It is my all-time favorite. And I'm so happy they recently just sent me like another supply of them, which is so generous. I can't believe that they do that. So regular, you know, like they really keep me stocked up, which is awesome. But they sent me more strawberry, thank God, because I thought that this was going to be a limited edition, but it's not. I'm just going to pour some. Sometimes I do like have these. But yeah, Juan and I are about to head out the door. It's Sunday and we're going to go to Restoration Hardware Outlet. It's... 10.58 a.m. right now. And we want to get a jump start on the day. It's pouring down rain. It's super ugly outside. It looks like a storm or some sorts. <sighs> Baby, want some? No. More for me? 
Yeah, come try it. I didn't pour the full thing because I'm not using enough water, but. So one that they sent me that I've never tried before is the hydration multiplier, but for immune support. So I need to read like what the difference is between say like the original ones and then the immune support. But this is tangerine flavor, which sounds super good too. So I feel like it's always good to boost your immune system. How do you like it? You can say it's not for you if it's not. <laughs> what else are we doing today, babe? Are you going home later? Yeah, I mean, River Place at 2.30. Mm -hmm. I don't know if I'm going to make it, but we'll see. Okay. That's fine. I'm not going to lie. I kind of like drinking just water out of this glass. That makes me feel like super fancy. <laughs> let's go. All right, let's go. It's sweet. So this is the chair that Juan ended up getting for his dining room, but it's a different material. This looks like it's suede or something. It's kind of beat up though. But yeah, this is the same chair. Do you want to sit in it? Is it comfy? Yeah. Are you happy with your decision? Oh, these chairs are great. This is super expensive. It's 50 bucks above 690. Oh, probably because of the material. Yeah. And that's pretty expensive for being that beat up. I mean, it's 50 bucks above, so the price is... Yeah, but still. Yeah, the casters are nice. I like this chair too. This one? Mm -hmm. I love it. Hey, were these dressers? No. This is a sideboard. Mm. This one looks broken. <laughs> this is super pretty. Could do this as like an entryway table or something, you know? end up getting anything there was a few people that like held everything that's fine even the things that were held it's nothing I wanted I'm cold I need heat and butt warmer so I'm sitting in Juan's new car got the Mazda CX-5 Love it. I wanted to use his car to drive up to Restoration Hardware Outlet. <laughs> I've been driving my car a lot and putting a lot of miles on it, so I wanted uh, him to do it instead. And as I said, I'm trying to get used to the whole charging thing, so because I was just at his house a couple days ago and I don't think I'm gonna go back to his house in a couple of days, I don't wanna waste my battery <laughs> in my car, even though I could go anywhere and charge it, but it's just like, it takes hours to charge versus like filling up a tank of gas in your car takes like five minutes, you know? And so I don't have anywhere to go to leave my car for hours apart from Juan's house, I guess. <laughs> What's up? I turned on the car because it was cold. Where do you want to go? Uh, you did it. Oh, you do? What do you want to do at U Village? Um, we can go to Restoration Hardware, check in the chairs, have lunch, Street, and Southwest. then go home. Okay. You might be an hour late for your game, but... What? I mean, your game's in two hours. I can do everything in 15 minutes. Wow! <laughs> Who are you? You're like the slowest person ever in existence. Maybe it's just no. I, mean, I can go straight West. home, even take an Uber. <laughs> Fuck off. went home and I am watching The Real Housewives of Atlanta and getting ready to pass out. I am so tired. I did not get a lot of sleep last night at all. I blame it on 
Juan, uh, excuse me with the snoring and stuff, you know, like I'm so tired, but I wanted to get on here and say like, I'm actually super impressed with like how my hair is looking today. I didn't do anything with it. I waved it yesterday when I washed it and then I put my hair like in a full ponytail to go to bed and everything and then I took out the ponytail and it was still together. Never in my life has a curl or a wave held the next day because my hair is so fine. I'm shooketh. I cannot believe it. And as you guys probably would have been seeing as I've been starting to just wave it a little bit more. I did it in my Lululemon haul video and then my last vlog and then I'm starting to like post things on Instagram with my hair wavy but I am loving it so much. I actually got this waver from Amazon. It's the bedhead one and it's so much better than the ones that have like three barrels. I tried that one and it just does not work for my hair. So I'm super in love with this so far. It was only like $25 on Amazon. So figured I would mention this. I'll link it down below if you guys are interested in waving your hair too. But this is exactly what I've been wanting to go for without like curling it, you know? Because I didn't want to have like ringlets or anything. So very, very happy about it. I'll stop yammering on about it. Hopefully I don't look like a mess. I've been running around. It's a uh, Tuesday. I need to put my car mount back in the car so I can vlog again in the car. But I've been running around uh, taking content for Instagram. I'm trying to step up my Instagram game, you guys. Go give me a follow if you're not already. Shameless plug, I know. But I am starving. What time is it? It is almost 3 p.m. I haven't had lunch yet. There's this acai bowl place that's near where I live. Never been there before and I really want to try it. I went on their website yesterday to look at their menu and it looks so good. I'm starting to salivate because I'm just starving. As you can see, it's a beautiful day out and this is the only nice day for like the next 10 days. So I had to take advantage of it. I had to try to take some pics for the good old Graham. Did that for like the last hour and a half, so little mini break from work while I went and did that so I'll show you hopefully the place is open and all that sort of stuff but I'll show you the place and what I get when I get there <laughs> what it looks like when you go take content pics stuff everywhere you have like bags and stuff in the car you know looks like i got something in the mail from aritzia when i just got home but here is the acai bowl i just got traditional where it just has bananas and granola and then obviously acai let's give it a try priority number one change into sweatpants immediately when you get home there we go went to the bank on the way home too after I picked up this, so that was good. I had a few checks that I've been meaning to deposit for a while now. I only have big spoons. I need to do the dishes so bad. I wish they gave me more granola. Stingy. Are you interested? Oh yeah, this is really good. I'm here for it. I just wish that they put more granola in it. Mm. A few of the outfit pictures I was taking was in shorts and it's like 50 degrees. Oh my god, it was so cold with the wind. The things you do, you know? Juan's texting me. I, just, I sent him a picture of the acai bowl. And he was like, who are you? You don't even like it. Which is true. But it's because of like the granola and the toppings that places typically put on it. Like on the acai. But this was so basic that I thought that I would like it. And it's good. Now he wants one. Let's try calling him. See if he's available. 
they're always in meetings so he's probably not available answer typically he doesn't see me calling when i call on whatsapp so let's try facetime he's in a meeting I'm so annoying today. <laughs> I'm in a meeting. I figured. All right. I'm gonna watch some Daily Pop. I gotta tell you, I'm sitting here. Eat this and then go back to work. My day job. You guys, it's almost 7 p.m. Where does the day go? Uh, it's trickery because it still looks like it's like 4 p.m. outside. Anyway, worked and I've just been chilling. I've been starting to upload all of like the footage for this vlog. I think I have enough, so like a lot. <laughs> so I'm probably just gonna end the vlog soon. But I couldn't do it without opening up the package because I showed it to you guys. You guys would get after me if I didn't open this and show it to you. So it's a pretty small package. Only two things shipped and I'm still waiting on like a few more things. I don't know how exciting this is. You guys know how much I love the Bliss tees and I have the black, I have it in so many colors and I was like, I need it in white. Like I would have loved to like wear it like maybe with this outfit, you know? So I get it in a size extra extra small. It's only $25. I feel like it's really affordable. I've showed this exact shirt in so many haul videos <laughs> that I've done. And then I also got a little cropped vest situation. I actually thought like it would be really cute to wear this under the vest. What do you think? Vests are really in style right now. And so I just, I don't know. I had like an image in my mind of wearing it with that, with some jeans and it just being like super cute. So yay, exciting. I got this in a size extra extra small it's from the brand sunday best i'll have to see if it's like itchy but it feels soft there's some itch to it but if i'm gonna wear it like over other things i don't think that's that big of a deal i also got a few things from lululemon so the first being this i got this a couple of days ago and i just put it on today i styled this shirt with like an outfit for content that i shot today but i just kept it on so this is the all yours boyfriend tee it's in like this gorgeous French name color, <laughs> but get this in a size zero. It's really oversized. This outfit makes zero sense right now. So it is what it is. Okay, so the two other things that I got, I got another of the belt bag. You guys know I'm like ride or die for my black one. I use it just as like my daily purse up until what a couple weeks ago when I switched back to my Prada purse. But I love, love, love using this belt bag as my purse. And not only for like my day to day purse, but I wear it like on my hikes. Oh my God, I'm so excited for summer again so I can start going on some hikes. But yeah, I got it in this color because I'm really loving the spruce color and the green fern. I think the neon is a little bit brighter than what I thought it was going to be. So we'll see if I end up keeping it. And then I ended up getting a pair of the Wonder Trains, the 25 inch and the Rhino gray color. This just came out this last week. Had to pick them up to try them. I haven't even tried them on yet, but it's my standard size, size two that I get in all of my pants. It's kind of interesting because I feel like this gray in person is coming off blue. And I was hoping for it to be like a true gray. So I feel like you guys would kill me if I say I'm torn on them because everyone's going crazy for the rhino gray color. But we'll see what I end up doing. So yeah, that's everything that I got recently. So I figured I would share it with you guys. I need to do the dishes or else I'm going to be in trouble come tomorrow. So I'm going to do all the dishes, load the dishwasher and all that good stuff. This was delicious, by the way. If you live in the Seattle area, this has a few locations. So I would highly recommend you go check it out. Oh, top notch.
totally forgot to tell you guys. I have a website. It's just carissaburnside.com. I'm so excited for it. It's really funny though because I started this website or started like developing it all on my own, of course. I think this was like back in October and then I kind of just forgot about it. I got really busy with work and just other things. And just this last week, I was like, oh my God, my website, I need it to get it like up and going. So it's up, it's functional. You guys can go to it, you can use it. I think what initially sparked wanting it to get it up and going again is is on my Instagram is you're only allowed one link and so many times I have people asking for like my like to know it or just links to other things aside from my YouTube so I wanted to create a link that you can click on it and it has like a list of all of my other like social accounts so whether it's Pinterest Poshmark YouTube like to know it like shopping my outfits I just wanted it all there for you guys so that's what inspired me to get my website like up and going so the links is there you'll see that in my Instagram which is really awesome I love feature i love that i created it all on my own because i didn't want to use like linktree or any other like third party thing i just like wanted my own and i want to integrate it with my website so i did that like one night and then i just got it up and going but while i was like on my website i was just poking around i was like oh my god okay let's do this we're gonna make it a mission i'm gonna integrate more content in with my website so as of right now i am putting all of my content from like instagram from like to know it from youtube all in the website it has different categories if you click on it it obviously has the video embedded in it but it also has like anything i've ever mentioned in any description of any video it's all listed there as well. I just thought it would make it super easy for you guys. My favorite part is just like the shop feature. So anything I've ever mentioned when it comes to shopping my closet. So anything in my closet is there. I have a shop my bathroom. So any like beauty, hair, skincare, my current skincare routine, my current makeup routine, all the products are all listed there. I have all my Amazon favorites, so that includes all my activewear favorites, and I plan on expanding it even more. So as of right now, it's definitely still a work in progress. I'm working to kind of just backfill, put all the content in there, and I wanna start doing just like blog posts too. My first blog post that I posted was the process on how I made the paper mache bowls that I shared in my last vlog. So I thought that that was like the perfect introduction to doing blogs, so you guys didn't have to watch my video in order to refer back to to it later on so I have it all laid out there step by step with pictures and all that sort of stuff so I thought that was really good but if you guys have any ideas for what you want to see from me and my website let me know maybe you guys have ideas of things you'd like to see from me but maybe it's just not for a video and it's like more for a blog post like more than happy to do that too. Obviously my main focus is still YouTube and then Instagram. So this stuff is just secondary to all of that. My focus isn't going to change, but I wanted to introduce this step into my process and my creative process. So very excited, go check it out. Let me know what you think. If you have any ideas, any feedback, I'm open to it. But yeah, definitely needed to mention it to you guys before I end this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed this video. Hopefully you guys enjoyed seeing my new car. It's funny because I posted a picture on Instagram of like a selfie in my car and so many of you guys were saying, oh my God, is this the new car? And it's funny because I posted it without even realizing it was in the car and I was like, shit, I haven't even been out to the car yet and here I am posting it. <laughs> Ah, uh, so funny. Some of the things I don't even realize. Well, anyway, thank you guys so much again for watching. Make sure you're subscribed and liking this video before you go, and I'll see you in a couple days in my next video. Bye, guys. I love you. Aww.